I'm going to show you how to make this exclusion blend here in Illustrator with a special technique. Step one, let's go to the colors. Make sure that you're on a fill. If you have anything on the stroke, click on the stroke, click on the non, click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top. Let's select the rectangle. And I'm going to make a thick rectangle here. And I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it upwards. Also press shift to isolate. Press and hold alt and make this rectangle narrow. So it's going to make this thin line. Press and hold alt, drag it downwards as well. From here, I'm going to go and select the blend. Click on the thin line and then click on the thick line to blend it. And let's click now on the thick line and click on the thin line as well. Now let's select it. Double click on the blend. Select specify steps and let's decrease the numbers until we're going to have space in between these lines like this. Click OK. And from here, I'm going to make a letter. Select the type tool. I'm going to type in the letter A. Press and hold shift plus alt scale it up. By the way, this font is the Azo Sans Uber regular. Now all you need to do is drag and drop the letter A on the line pattern. I also want to make this bounding box disappear around the letter A, but still to be fully editable. So I'm going to go to the effects path. And let's select outline object and you can still double click on the text and rename it however you like. If the setting is not working properly, you can go to edit preference general and make to check use preview bounds. Click OK. Now I'm going to select both align them horizontally and vertically. I also going to select the lines and just bring them in. Let's select both elements, right click and select group. Now we're going to go to the effects. Let's go to Pathfinder and let's select the exclude. And this is how it's going to exclude it. Meanwhile, this composition is fully editable. And if you click here, you might think it's a fill. But if you go with a shape under it, you can see it's fully transparent because this effect reverses the white space. So for example, if I double click on these lines and select them, you can still fully edit these. And this is how the exclusion trick works here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.